Hello everyone and welcome back to the Arboretum Garden Centre here in Lockton Bridge. My name is Redmond and this is a continuation video of the seeds, the topic of seeds we've been covering here for the last few days here. Um, so as you see in the last video we were talking about certain seeds that you can sow for this time of year. So in this video I'm going to show you the equipment that you need to sow them seeds in. So starting off, if you want to do a kind of a cutting or something like that at home, hardwood cutting or a softwood cutting, these are very simple seed and cutting trays. You see they have lovely little modular kind of little, small little um, plugs that you can use. You see the small one here. So that develops a lovely little root system that you can pot on into a bigger pot or eventually out into your garden as well. We also have them in larger kind of size. So if you want to kind of grow them on, if you have flowers or something like that, this is a very self-watering system. So what you do is you kind of plant them directly into these cells and in the bottom of here, there's a catch tray, which is kind of a water reservoir, which slowly waters the, the kind of trays throughout the time as well. So a really handy tool as well, as it develops a really large kind of root system compared to the smaller one here, as you see. We also have these very little, handy little kind of grow houses. So you see the beauty of these is they have a little kind of roof on them as well. So if you put this out into the sunlight, generates a lovely bit of heat in there. So you can kind of plant your uh, seeds directly into them as well. So your flower seeds or your veg, seed, veg seeds, as I say, are beautifully um, arranged in here. So you can start, it's a kind of a starter set as well. So it just, just gets them that kind of boost that they need to get them going once you can kind of plant them eventually out into your garden. They also come, as I say, in kind of a modular kind of shape as well. So if you want to plant these into different parts of the garden, this already does it for you too. So just a handy little tool. As we kind of move on from there, there's uh, the topic that we want to cover is uh, kind of biodegradable products. So the word biodegradable means that they will kind of gradually degrade down into the soil themselves. So unlike plastic, you'll have to remove it. These will actually go back into the soil. So these are very, very handy little tool. So these are little pots, just like these guys here, but in a larger size, you can plant directly into these, plant them into the garden. What happens is all the roots will kind of emerge from the outsides of these pots as well. And that will kind of break down into the soil, which adds to the nutrients of the soil also. So a really handy tool to kind of put in. These are a new product that we have here in the Arboretum. They're kind of coir little pellets. So as you see, they're kind of little discs, little small discs. And what you do with them, as you can see, they expand. So before you use these, you put them in kind of lukewarm water. They expand up to about four to five times their size. Little hole in the top there, and you just place your seed in it. And as I say, it acts like a kind of it's in a pot as well. So really handy if you're stuck for room. If you have, imagine you had 50 pots stacked up. Whereas you have 50 of these, really can fit in a kind of shelf at home as well. So really handy little thing that to have in your garden as well. And finally then, I suppose the propagators themselves, we kind of have two types here at the Arboretum. We have these kind of self-watering ones. So as you see on the top there, the lovely little vent then as well, just to kind of regulate the temperature inside. Um, and then you kind of water from the base here. Handy little size. Um, you can get a good few uh, seedlings into that as well. And also that is the smaller version that we have. As you can see it there, little small, because it can fit in kind of a windowsill if you have it at home there or in an apartment or something, or if you're restricted for room. But my favorite one of them all is the big one here. This is the electric propagator, great size as well. The word electric is the key in here. The beauty of that is there's a temperature setting on this, so you can regulate the temperature that you're going to use. Um, the beauty of that is your seeds are going to merge a lot quicker compared to the kind of ones that don't have the power. So you can regulate the temperature of the soil. You can also open up with extra vents as well. And what this does gives you that quicker kind of emergence of the seedlings, which in, in hindsight will, will mean that you can get them out into your garden quicker than someone has, has it in a kind of one that doesn't have electric. So that's a, just a small selection of what kind of propagation um, equipment that we have here in the Arboretum. We have a huge selection of pots, containers, window boxes, hanging baskets, anything you need to get your seeds established. We also have the growing media here in store, seed and pot and compost and anything else that you'll need to that. So watering cans as well, we have them too. So vitally important that you water um, your seeds the minute you kind of get them um, planted up. So as I say, uh, we're on the topic of seeds at the moment. So in here in the Arboretum, we're hopefully going to get a few of these seeds planted. And over the next couple of weeks, we're going to check in with you and just let, it, let you know how we're getting on here, how we're finding these equipment, how we're getting um, performing, as they say. So just a handy little way of telling you. And also, we're open on the Instagram, the Facebook here for questions and queries that you have about any of these um, propagation equipment as well, or the seeds or the seed potatoes that we covered in the last few videos. So as I say, it's great to watch, um, uh, get you to watch all these videos as well. Hope you enjoyed them and uh, we look forward to seeing you very soon um, on the next video. See you then.